Jenny Block is planning on publishing a book on orgasms. And in order to do so, it's obviously very important to do some extensive research. So she attended a sex workshop that's referred to as the body sex workshop. It's literally a situation where you do group masturbation and stare at one another's vaginas. Hmm. Okay? Yeah, good so this is amazing. This is the most amazing story I've read all day. Lots of depressing stories, but this is the fun one. Um, so Betty Dotson is, of course, a sex educator. She's 85 years old, and she's the person who puts these workshops together. And so Jenny Block talks about the situation. She does a really good job describing the environment. Let me give you a little piece of it. I went into the main room where back jacks were set up in a circle, each with a towel on it, a pillow behind it, and a tray next to it with a box of Kleenex, mm. a glass of water, a bottle of almond oil, a Dodson vaginal barbell and a mystic wand vibrator. Well, they're ready. They're ready to go to work. <laughs> I thought the Kleenex was just for guys. That's interesting. Okay, uh, fascinating. And the back jack sounds funny. If you're gonna jack it, jack it in the back of the jack. Yes. <laughs> okay. So they get in the room. They're all naked. Mm -hmm. And they're all ready to go to work and watch each other go to work. Yes. On themselves. Now she shares more details about this. Betty went first, and then one by one we sat next to her and spread our legs as we looked into the mirror with Betty and admired our pussies. Good for you. I don't like the word pussies in a public place, but anyway, uh -huh. in private it could be fun. Betty would point out certain features and style each of our pussies for a photo. She's 85. She's getting right down in it, right? And she's like, okay, now let me style this thing for you. And then they take pictures of it. Fascinating. Okay. And also, okay, so let me just tell you what your mindset is when you're in an environment where everyone's naked, right? So mm -hmm. I go to Korean spas a lot. And when you're not in that situation, it sounds really awkward. But once you're in that, in that environment and everyone is 100% naked, you become desensitized to it immediately. So I could totally understand how when you're not in that place, it sounds crazy. But once you're there and people are like, yeah, I'm spreading my legs, I'm showing you my vagina or right. my vulva. Like, right. people will be more open to it. Yeah, uh, wrong again, Bob. Uh, I've been in many locker rooms where everybody's naked. Uh, I've never felt uh, comfortable in my life. I, I, okay, and yeah. the longer I say, the more uncomfortable I get. I'm like, okay, guys, anybody gonna grab a towel at any point here? <laughs> okay, so, but you're right that the context is fascinating. Yes. Because Betty Dobson uh, has been doing this for a long, long time. So, she, Dobson, so she doesn't think like this is unusual. She thinks, well, this is another day in paradise. We're all gonna go sit around and look at each other's pussy. I know. <laughs> and like, when women do it, it's considered kind of sexy and alluring. But when men do it, I mean, can you imagine a bunch of dudes get together? for a circle jerk, okay. right? And they're public about it. Like some guy writes about it on the Huffington Post. He's like, so I went to this room and there was Jergens body lotion on a tray, tray and then some Kleenex and then a guy came up to me and said, wow, look at your dick. Now let me do a little rub and tug and see how you feel. Right. Like it's just not gonna happen. No, but you see, they don't, they don't consider any of this to be, uh, as far as I can tell, lesbian at all. No, like, bisexual they don't. at all, they're just ha you know, having fun with one another. If another dude's like, hold on, let me shape your cock and then take a picture of it, okay? <laughs> And if you really need it, I'll help you out so you can come all over the back jack. Okay. Nobody would think that, oh, no, no, it's okay. Just the guys got together and mutual masturbation. It's not gay or anything. The, okay. this, is, this is my favorite part. We have to get to the best part. So they start evaluating one another's vulvas, right? Which are good. And, and they yeah. share thoughts and comments and everything. And I honestly give Jenny Block a lot of credit because she talks about the shape of her nether regions. This okay, is what yeah, she says. That's why she's Jenny from the block. Yes. She's like, I have a donut pussy, she told me, and she's referring to Betty Dotson. As I sat with my knees falling open and my pussy lips spread wide. A donut because I have full outer lips that outline the inner lips. Well, good for you and your donut pussy. And so Betty Dotson asked her, and what about a name? Do you have a name for your pussy? And good, she good said, question. I don't. And uh, Betty Dotson told her, hmm, cream puff. <laughs> See, that's also a difference between guys and girls, because cream puff sounds like a delicious pussy, uh, whereas cream puff would sound disastrous for a guy's genitalia. Okay, so here's another thing that I want to comment on. Um, can we all stop pretending like pussies are somehow more attractive than penises are? Yeah, let's stop pretending No, about no, that, because, okay? okay, so like through vagina monologues and through feminist movements and stuff, it's like you put the pussy on the pedestal. Like it's this beautiful, it's true though. In this it's case, true. it's like kind of literal. They're like, let me look at that thing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, a nice donut. No, it's not a, an aesthetically pleasing thing to look at, and neither is the penis. Look, they're both fun. 
right? But let's not pretend like, oh, penises are grotesque, but pussies are so attractive. No, let's all calm down. Well, number one, of course, it depends on your perspective, sexually. Uh, and number two, I generally agree with you. I mean, yeah. men talk about breasts and they talk about ass and legs and stuff like that. I've never, like, not never, but very rarely is a guy's like, oh, you should have seen how hot her pussy was. <laughs> right? Oh, the vulva on her. That's not an often said comment. So I think you're onto something there. Oh, Anna. my God. Okay. So there was another woman there uh, by the name of Carlin. And so Jenny says the following about her. Carlin, whom Betty affectionately refers to as her stunt cunt, demonstrated Betty's rock and roll method of masturbation while Betty directed and commentated. The method includes vulvar, massage, pelvic rocking, focused breathing, a vibrator for the clit, mm -hmm. and most importantly, to my mind, slow penetration with Betty's vaginal barbell. The patented. Go there and touch it. <laughs> Patented Betty's vaginal barbell. I mean, I, it blows my mind, man. She's she's like, look, watch me rock and roll. And she goes to work on herself. Everybody's like, you go get him, you stunt cut. Oh, <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> this is an amazing yeah. story. Whereas if guys are like, watch how I could jack off. <laughs> Nobody's like, wait a B Bob. Let me see you yank that thing. <laughs> rock and roll that cock. And my favorite part of the story is the very end. Go ahead. Okay, so Jenny from the Block is having trouble orgasming because she's new to this and she hasn't masturbated in front of other people before. She likes the community, but she's having trouble bringing it, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so Betty, the 85 year old, says, Let me help you out. She gets down on her knees, puts a hand on her chest, okay? Okay. And then she grabs a vibrator. She goes to work on Jenny. Okay. See, <laughs> see, the way Jake is gesturing is a uh, reason why he doesn't think women need Kleenexes after they orgasm. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, I see you. Oh, there. damn, okay. under that bus. Okay, look, I don't know Betty's tricks, but apparently it worked. Uh, Jenny says she says starts getting like one orgasm and another one. She starts she, arching she, her back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's throwing them out a little nice and slow. And then boom, at that. Okay. I mean, once again, the disparity between female perception and male perception is amazing. Because women look at that and they go, good for you, Jenny. Way to let her rock your ass out, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas if a guy got down there and was like, let me, an 85 year old guy's like, hold on, let me pinch your nipple and go to work on you, right? It's not a lot of guys who be like, oh man, he's a legend in the business. <laughs> some guys, some guys, okay. Uh, but most would find that an uncomfortable situation. Yep. Okay, but they're open minded here and we love them for it. And you know, at the end of the day, you know what happened in that circle of trust? Mm -hmm. Everybody came, mm -hmm. okay? Not such a bad result, you know? If, if the whole world operated that way, not so bad, not so bad.